Over the course of the semester, CSF has been analyzed to discover how it manages to connect the student body in what seems like an effortless manner. Using positive spirit and free food, CSF manages to lure many to its doors. However, its ideals and beliefs are what keep people around and makes them stay. The following interview will include a student discussing how CSF has impacted their college experience and their life in general. So what originally got you into CSF? Um, what originally got me into CSF was, well, honestly, Smash Bros and the free food. Um, and I played Smash Bros with my brother for a long time. So um, it's what we did for a long time. And then I just kept going back and back. Uh, Midnight Pancakes are great stuff. Synergy, they got some good food out of Shift Group, and they've really helped me out, and it's pretty freaking fun, you know, yeah. So what would you say to somebody, let's say an atheist, that was reluctant about going to CSF? What would you say to them? Um, you know, just show them what Jesus showed to the people, his disciples. Um, you know, they don't really care whether you're not religious or, religious or not. You know, I was an agnostic when I first got into it. Uh, I didn't go because of Jesus. I thought it was stupid. I just went into it for, because of the free food and the Smash Bros. I got to be perfectly honest. It's what I did. But, you know, I didn't go. I didn't, they didn't question me about my motives or anything like that. They just accepted me for who I was. And then when I started asking questions, then they started answering my questions. They never pegged me. They never... So if you're an atheist and you want to come to CSF, you know, they won't bug you for your beliefs of any kind unless you ask them personally. So, yeah. How would you say CSF has impacted your college experience as a whole? Um, it's definitely got me out of my shell. I would definitely have just, I, I commute from Georgetown. Um, I definitely would have had found any friends in UK's campus if not for CSF because, you know, CSF has just helped me out that much. Um, good, good networking. I've met, like I said, I've met a ton of people. I still get some free food. Um, I'm trying to save money. So, and I, and, you know, Tupperware with chicken nuggets and spinach, it's, it kind of sucks a lot. And, you know, ketchup can only do so much for flavoring, like in the Martian. Um, so yeah, if you want to do CSF, you know, just come on out next semester. I'm sure you're going to have a good time. And thank you. Anything else? No, thank you. Thank you for your interview. Thank you for your time. All right. Thank you. The methods as to how this community thrives and retains life have been observed methodically and closely using multiple methods, including interviews, as previously shown, and observation alone. Some say what keeps the community thriving and people coming is the free food offered daily. Others suggest it's possibly the crazy parties that are thrown every couple weeks or so. While these events are enjoyable, a commoner of CSF knows they are not the keys to what CSF's life and community are all about, which its true values can be found when stepped into the building. A common visitor to the CSF building knows the two main factors that keep this community alive and well are the common interests of following Jesus and maintaining a community that seeks to better not only itself, but those around it. If you have never been to the building, but want to discuss your own journey or problems, there are many that can be found willing to listen and give real life advice. This can include a shift group, or an adult on staff, or just a peer that you find standing in the building. This community thrives off of those who participate, and the best way to experience the fun and memory-lasting experiences is by giving it a try. So the next time you need to let off some stress or simply find God again, CSF is just your place.